Hello, North Dakota FFA. My name is Hope Shiresky, and I'm a member of the MAX FFA chapter. Loads of llamas, briefcases, 16 flights of stairs, and countless renditions of its raining tacos for good luck are just a few of my many memories and moments in FFA with Christina Bingham. Even though she's younger than I am, I look up to Christina. I strive to be as passionate and as dedicated as she is. She once told me, I almost didn't join FFA. We were on our way to National FFA Convention after she had helped her team win a state contest as an eighth grader. Even then, I knew that once Christina set her mind to something, she was a force of nature. She faces every challenge head on, and you'd be hard pressed to find someone more willing to try something new or out of their comfort zone. Christina embodies the FFA motto in everything she does, especially by living to serve. She is always willing to lend a helping hand, and she truly enjoys helping others achieve their full potential and reach their goals. This is just one of many reasons why Christina has loved being your state officer this past year. Christina Bingham inspires me every day, and I could not be more proud of her. So North Dakota FFA, I am honored to present to you your 2019-2020 State FFA Secretary, my best friend, Christina Bingham, for her retiring address entitled, Live Life Barefoot. If there is one thing that I miss since going into quarantine, it would definitely be a day spent at the lake with my friends and the feeling of warm sand between my toes. Walking barefoot on the beach has always been a great time to reconnect with both my friends and with nature. Recently, I came across the story of a man named Rob Greenfield who shares a similar mindset. After developing a rare foot problem and spending thousands on doctor appointments, Miraculously, the only thing that could heal his feet was walking barefoot. With each barefoot step that he took, it helped to heal his feet, but it also helped him to discover much more than he could have ever imagined. He has found that living barefoot causes him to slow down and really appreciate the small things that people all too often pass by. While Rob has an odd story to tell, there is something that each and every one of us can take away from it. Now, I am not challenging you to go out and actually live barefoot like Rob did, but instead to live out a barefoot mindset by being intentional, mindful, and by chasing nothing but the present moment. Like walking barefoot, in our lives we can't dwell too much on our past or get too anxious for our futures. Instead, when we decide to live our lives barefoot, we are choosing to be in the now. When we decide to live our lives barefoot, we are choosing to intentionally take one step forward, one foot in front of the other again and again. When we decide to live our lives barefoot, when we decide to live full lives, we shift our focus from the destination to truly enjoying the journey along the way. Now, I have a life-changing question to ask you. When was the last time that you lived your life barefoot? The last time you chased nothing but moments? The last time you felt fully alive? Maybe it was this morning when you woke up and took in a full breath of fresh air and readied for the day. Maybe it was yesterday when you went on a walk with your family and felt the cool breeze blow through your hair. Maybe it was even a few weeks ago when you reached out and made a friend's day. When was the last time that you felt fully alive? When I found myself asking this very question only a few short months ago, sadly, I realized that I couldn't remember the last time that I had felt fully alive. At that point in time, I'd found myself living on autopilot, allowing my to-do lists to dictate my day-to-day -day life, and I never made it a priority to live life intentionally or to chase little moments or to even just be. Maybe this sounds like someone you know. Maybe it even sounds like yourself. But luckily, we can change. Every day since then, I have made it a priority to live life barefoot and to chase the simple moments that make me feel fully alive each day. Whether it has been going on adventures with my younger siblings, writing letters to friends, or even just having random 30-second dance parties throughout the day, these small moments help me to stay intentional and allow me to enjoy the journey. Of course, living intentionally is easier said than done, and I am not perfect by any means. But you see, we can start by choosing to create one positive, memorable moment at a time. 
Start today. You'll be amazed to see how these small moments will lead you into feeling fully alive each and every day. How these moments will create more life in your life. Especially while trying to navigate these uncharted waters, it can be hard to be intentional, let alone positive, but there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. We have the unique opportunity to embrace the uncertainty that we are facing one moment at a time. I know that it can be hard not knowing what is to come, but I encourage you to see these unprecedented times as an invitation to live each day intentionally, to live each day fully alive, and to create memorable moments and bright places, even in dark times. North Dakota FFA, I challenge you to start today and to live life barefoot. Now it is time for thank yous. First of all, I would like to thank God for being my rock, my comforter, and for calling me to serve as a state officer this year. Thank you for always guiding me according to your plan. To my parents, Mark and Peggy Bingham. Mom, Dad, thank you for always supporting me, whether it has been our countless late night phone calls or our Sunday drives. You two have always inspired me to be the best version of myself. To my siblings, Jessica, Stephanie, Amanda, and Ryan, thank you for always keeping me on my toes. I am so blessed to be your sister, and I cannot wait to see the outstanding people that you will grow up to be. To my grandparents, thank you for always cheering me on through every step of my journey in the jacket. Thank you for always guiding me with your words of wisdom. I would especially like to thank my Papa Fred Bingham for initially inspiring me to join FFA and for being a constant role model in my life. To Mrs. Hiddle, thank you for being a rock star advisor, my second mom, and a life mentor. I could not have accomplished any of this without you and your guidance. You have truly inspired me to grow through every experience that life has thrown my way and I appreciate that more than you know. To the members of the MAX FFA chapter, thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for the memories that we have shared and for being my foundation and rock in this organization. It has been fun to see each and every one of you grow this year. I cannot wait to see what all of your futures will hold. To my forever friends Hope and Bethany, Thank you for only ever being a phone call away, even if it turns out to be a three-hour phone call. To all of the friends that I have crossed paths with and met along the way, thank you for being a part of my life. To the state staff, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Cleveland, and Mrs. Weigel, thank you for always supporting me and for giving the team guidance and advice from time to time as the need arises. I especially appreciate the time that we got to spend together in person this year, whether it was our car ride jams with Aaron or life chats on the road with Craig. And last, but definitely not least, I would like to thank my team, Ben, Anna, Michaela, Maddie, and Hannah. Thank you for being five of my best friends and for all of the memories that we have made this year. I'm so blessed to have served alongside each and every one of you. And although we didn't end the year quite how we expected we would, I'm glad knowing that you five will forever be my teammates and friends. North Dakota FFA, thank you for an absolutely amazing year. I'll be forever appreciative for my journey in the association jacket, and I have each and every one of you to thank. <laughs>